Hello everybody, welcome to Cyblock Entertainment and welcome to our ranking of every LEGO High Potter years 1 to 4 level from worst to best. We've just finished this game and there's a lot of good levels, so this was really hard to narrow it down. I'm once again here with Nabil. Hello, everybody, it's me Nabil. And let's just get on with it. And at number 24 is Secret of the Egg. You're basically trying to unlock the mermaid egg. And Nabil, you actually had most problems with this, I wouldn't. Yeah, for me, it was because, um, so for the second player, the playable character was Tony Murrow. And um, in, way of, in, in way of gameplay, like, there was very, very, very little that she would actually do. So I kind of just felt like I was just flying around, not really helping it with the yeah, level. Yeah, she while... didn't do much, could she? <laughs> like... For a ghost, no, you didn't no. have any abilities. Like, like I, like you only had, you didn't really have a spell. You could only like, you had like one spell or something, and it was just very, very boring. All right, the whole level itself wasn't that interesting either. It was just like find the taps, yeah, turn yeah. them on, solve really, really simple puzzle, and then once you've opened up the taps, you just progress to a, a lower area where there's yeah the mermaid. Um, like, like, I do like the design. Like, I like the, the design of it, but... Compared but to the other cool. levels on the list, at least uh, favourite level. Mm -hmm. right, it's very just simple puzzles. Watch them, like, get the mermaid to throw down the tap or whatever. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then turn on the bath, and then that's the end of the level. It's really, really short as well. And at number 23 is the Forbidden Forest, and this was a kind of interesting level. It was very different to the others, but it wasn't the funnest, I'd say. It's yeah, yeah. Very repetitive with these, like, wasps that keep coming out that you have to keep shooting. And... Uh, yeah, I know, I know. It was a little bit repetitive, and... It just wasn't an uh... exciting look. I think they could have made the Forbidden Forest much better. And there's yeah, actually later for forest sure. levels that come in the game. I just overshadow is... this. Yeah, so level. much better. It's very forgettable. Like, like I, I, I had a fun time playing it initially, but then as soon as I played some of the other forest levels, yeah, this kind of just got overshadowed by it, and I almost forgot it was a level. So, I, you keep getting it mixed up with other levels. With just, other forest it isn't levels. Memorable. Yeah, 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 and. You also get a place Fang in this one, who's got the digging ability, but there wasn't too many digging areas in this level, I don't think. I think it's yeah, later yeah. levels where actually more digging comes, but... Even I... though, like, uh, yeah. Even though, like, in most of the later ones, um, you only really have Hermione. Yeah, with her cat. Aye, aye. Mm -hmm. But... Yeah, it was still... It, it was impressive when he dug, like, a whole tree or something. <laughs> Aye, that was pretty cool. That was very cool. <laughs> uh, a lot of the puzzles were just the same thing, though, which was... Uh, there's weird creatures who make up ladders. I don't even know if they're actually in Harry Potter. But... Yeah, I, I don't, I don't they really know. They were kind of creepy. But... <laughs> a lot yeah. of it was just use Lumos and dig, and that's pretty much the whole mm -hmm, level, and then mm -hmm. shoot the wasps yeah, yeah. with the crossbow. Aye. But again, it's just a really forgettable level compared to the others, because there's... A mm -hmm, lot mm -hmm. of good levels in this game. Yeah, there are so many good levels. And at number 22 is Darby's plan, and this was just very disappointing because you kind of it was maybe a Quidditch yeah. level, but yeah, so it was meant to be a Quidditch level, but then like every time, all of, like through like while I played Darby's plan, I just kept thinking back to the other Quidditch level that was very very similar to it. Yeah, this was the first one, yeah. No, no, this was the second one. Oh, this was the second, was the second one. one. Yeah, so, that's, that's yeah that, that forgettable, you keep forgetting which ones. Are, which... <laughs> I know, like, we're, we're not even that great levels to begin with. No, you'd rather, um, you'd want it to play like, Quidditch. Like, felt, felt, yeah, I, yeah, like, I kept thinking, like, I kept thinking two things for Dobby's plan. I kept thinking it was so similar to the other level where you had to, like, uh, go through to, like, set A a jinx fire right. or something. Yeah, Jinx Broom. And then I kept also thinking, like, why isn't this a Quidditch double? <laughs> Aye, like, it was such a perfect opportunity to just, like, Quidditch, they have flying brooms in the game. Yeah, 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 so I figured maybe they'd have some kind of Quidditch. And it was very, it was like, block puzzles as well, like, make these blocks to climb up, which was 
It wasn't my favorite. And yeah, then... yeah. No. Well, 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 but to be fair, there were a lot of like block kind of things in the. Yeah, but this was all this level had, really. Yeah, I know, I know. It was. It didn't even have yeah, much combat at all. I don't think it even had combat. No. Yeah, also, yeah there, was no, there was no really like fun combat in it all right. at all. It was just, yeah. Like the first time you do one of these levels, you're like, oh, that was kind of cool. I was expecting Quidditch, but it's like, this was all right. But then mm -hmm. having to do another one of the same thing with not much difference is just why it was lower. Yeah, so, exactly. I do yeah. love the design of the level because you've never seen what it looks like underneath the Quidditch. Like, pitch. no, no, yeah, that, that's 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 why like the first one's a little bit higher up for me because it was like the initial impression was like, oh, this is really cool. Like, you yeah. never really delved into this section of Harry Potter before, so. Alright, so at number 21 is Crab and Goyo, and this was a very simple level. You just have to make a Polyjuice Potion for the first time, which... Yeah, yeah, which, you do, which like, potion making is, is, is fun, but like, right, it does get a little bit rep mechanic, but That's all there was yeah. to this level. Yeah, yeah, like there wasn't any anything else for this level. The puzzles to get the ingredients also weren't memorable at all. And you're in no, another bathroom. No, I, There's I, a lot of levels in bathrooms. I forgot, I forgot what this level was. Yeah, so. it's uh, it's one of the forgettable ones. The only reason yeah. it's a bit higher than the others is you got to see Slytherin Common Room, which is something yeah, you yeah, don't get to see a lot <laughs> of times. And things. me being yeah. a Slytherin, you know, I do respect that. <laughs> I'm actually a Hufflepuff. So. Of course you are. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean, of course? So then it's the best, but... Uh, <laughs> oh, whatever. Alright, uh, but you also got to fight a uh, snake in it, but... Uh, it's just really short and really forgettable. There's not really much to say about this. Yeah, one. yeah. As Crab and no. Goyle, you know. No one really likes Crab and Goyle. <laughs> no. No, no one really did, did they? And at number 20 is a Jinx Boom, which is the first Quidditch level. And again, similar to Dobby's plan, it's the same thing, but we just enjoyed the puzzles a bit more on this one. Yeah, yeah, we just enjoyed it. Yeah, it's because it was a more, it was a fresher experience compared to... Ah, it's the first uh, time you're Dobby's doing plan. it, so you're not like yeah, fatigued. Yeah, but it's, it, still does, it still did falter for me a little bit when I was like, why isn't this just like a fun Why Quidditch isn't it just level? Quidditch? When they have, all oh, right, yeah. flying as well with the booms. They did not use the booms enough, but that's for the CGI review, but... Yeah, yeah. Hi, it was a nice design level. You got to use the boot puzzles. Was, was, yeah, it, it did suffer from the same. It suffers from the same problems as Darby's plan. It was the first time you did it, so it's higher up. Yeah, yeah. And at number 19 is Out of the Dungeon, and this was the first proper boss fight in the game, I think. Yeah, yeah, it was with the troll. With the troll, and it starts with the yeah. rat puzzle where you've got to play as scabbers and. Yes, yeah. Hit the it was a, like I, I, I didn't really mind those uh, little pipes, but <laughs> we got some issues with the pipes later on. But <laughs> yeah, we did have some issues with pipes. So you know, possible. No, I don't think video. anyone yeah. apart from us has ever experienced. <laughs> I, yeah, I really hope no one has. Hopefully, yeah, I really yeah. Hope no one as dumb as us, so. But the fun part about this level was you had to transform Harry and Ron into a girl to be able to get into the girl's bathroom. Yeah, so yeah, that, that was really, really That part of the level was fun. Surprisingly, my least favourite part is the boss fight at the end. Yeah, yeah, it was, uh, the boss fight wasn't all that fun, really. It wasn't it fun was... and it was easy. The troll kind of just yeah, hits you back mm -hmm. if you get near him and then you yeah. just got a Wingardium Leviosa. I know, club. you didn't really have very many, uh, spells. At that point, yeah. So at this point, you don't have many spells at all, so there wasn't much. So obviously, obviously, like it's not going to be like it's understandable it's be, like, why it wasn't as good. But again, I feel like they could have so, done yeah. a bit more, a little bit more. Yeah, for sure, for sure. And at number eighteen is flu powder, and really wanted more from this level because you start off in the Weasley yeah, barrels. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the first part of the lab was all and about hitting the gnomes into the traps Yeah, the gnomes, the gnomes were, were like okay, but it was just kind of like, it felt like a very menial task you needed to do. Aye, there were some funny ones, and there were some vehicles outside. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, vehicles were pretty fun, some of the things, you just got to ride around in them for a little bit. Yeah, then you go into the bow, and that this was huge. I wanted to do more in the bow. 
Yeah, yeah. So it was yeah. like the bow, but you're just one ground floor, and then there's the fireplace. You I don't know, even need to do anything in the bow to really get to the fireplace. Just to, like find Grass, a key. No, it's just kind of. Yeah, yeah. There was. I guess you can't. I guess we couldn't really do very much in the borrow in the first place, but. I I feel like in years five to seven there'll be more in the bow, hopefully. But yeah, yeah, yeah. But we're not on that yet. We're on years one to four, and. You go through the fireplace, you end up in Borgen and Burks, which that was yeah, a pretty Borgen good bit. That was a pretty good bit for a while. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was, yeah, it was, it was pretty cool. Very had a very like dark atmosphere to it. Let's you just gotta it. find a way to get out the front lock Aye. or whatever. Yeah, and you get to go to Nocturnale, though you don't get to do much in Nocturnale. And I think the no, whole not really. This level like, is a lot of good locations, just not anything to do with them. It's kind of just passing yeah, through a door just, to a door. Yeah, it's just that, like, the thing is, like, these uh, these places, like, don't really provide a lot of... Aye, uh, they actually made Nocturnalia a bonus area in the hub world. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. That's but true. for a level, it was literally just get to this area, to get to this area, to get to this area, and it, was just, it just this, ended yeah, really yeah, it was very linear, very boring, it wasn't really... Yeah, it was definitely not a great one. And at number 17 is News from Azkaban, and this is the part of the list where it gets really hard for us, because this isn't a bad level at all, it's just not as good as the other levels yeah, on the so list. Not, yeah, it's just... So, yeah, so, it's this not, is where, so this is where we had so much trouble... Like, I ranking it. Trying, so, trying to rank it, yeah. There's like, not... For us, I'd say, I'd say, I'd say there were... The, and then the middle, this weird middle section where it had so many of the levels in it, and then... And then, like, the best levels in our minds, so... Yeah, it's very much like, from... Right now, the list is good to great to amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So we've gone past the worst pretty quickly, but... Yeah. News from Azkaban, you start off in a uh, monster book fight, I guess, but it's really just solve a puzzle, isn't it? Jump yeah, on. yeah, it was... Uh, Not yeah, too complicated, yeah, but it didn't need to Not be. Not too complicated, it felt like almost a mini mini boss, I guess, but... <laughs> And then the second part, you're actually in the platform nine and three quarters, and you're trying to get in the Hogwarts Express, but there's a lot of yeah, and, students and, and Malfoy was, blocking you. With it, was, it was interesting that we actually made a level four platform nine and three quarters. Aye. Yeah, it was really nice, actually. A different take, so, Jump yeah, on top yeah. of the train and stuff. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. then you actually go into the train, which was really unexpected. I thought the level would end once you've yeah, gotten yeah, on the train. Yeah. You're on the train, and then one of the best scenes from Prison of Azkaban where the whole train fogs up and the Dementors come. Mm hmm, mm hmm. It was so, yeah. And then you take over as Remus because Harry's getting attacked by Dementors, and you have to get rid of all the Dementors on the train. So, overall, yeah, yeah. it was just a really fun level, just not as good as the others. That are coming yeah, out. yeah, it was very fun, yeah. And number 16 is the Quidditch World Cup. Uh, now this level was quite interesting right at the start because at the very start it felt like it felt much more open than a lot of the other levels I'd say because yeah. I I think you remember right at the start when you know yeah um, it was just the it was like the campsite almost or yeah it was the campsite you've got yeah it was a campsite and everything's like burning down I actually remember us being like. Like very split apart in this level, so yeah, it was <laughs> like nice I was at one of the map and you were at the other end. Yeah, it was very cool cop because like I felt like we were doing two different things at the same time uh, to, to progress in the level. So yeah, well, while there were other examples of this, I feel like this was very much this was a lot more prominent in this level, so it was quite enjoyable. Yeah, definitely. And uh, you actually get a play as a lot of the Weasley characters in this one, which is first time you get a play as more than just Ron. Yeah. Thank yeah. God. <laughs> and there's a lot of good puzzles in this one, actually. And the Death Eaters show up for the first time. So that was always nice. If you yeah. think it's nice. <laughs> it's kind of <laughs> horrible, but... <laughs> uh, but yeah, it was just the start of the Goblet of Fire, and Goblet of Fire is definitely our favourite Yeah, I really like very far. They definitely got better with each movie level-wise and added more complex mm -hmm, stuff. Mm -hmm. But just the atmosphere yeah, that yeah. was in this level was great, with the whole burnt down tents and everything. It's really chilling. Yeah, no, it was very. It, it, it felt like the first moment where it got a little, quite dark. Yeah, it's where it started to get darker. And then mm -hmm. at the end, there's a re quite a re 
quite a good boss fight actually where it's the massive death eater yeah, mark yeah. in the sky and you just gotta fight all the death eaters. Yeah, at, at first I was a little bit confused because I was like, what are we supposed to be hitting? It's just I how are we meant to be death eaters? We've only got like, yeah, it's very arms. <laughs> yeah. And at number 15 is the Shrieking Shack. And you start yes. this level with a fight with the Whomping Willow. Yeah, yeah, which is actually a pretty fun fight. Ah, it was very cinematic, wasn't it? When it's just yeah, yeah, really well. Gonna... It reminds me. It did remind me a lot of the uh, movies fight with it. Yeah, and the actual old video games what it reminded me of. Yeah, yeah. CGI will be done on that eventually. <laughs> One day, yeah. <laughs> it's got for all the Lego. <laughs> but <laughs> of course. All right. So you start with the Whomping Willow, and then. Once you've beaten that, you actually get to go underground. And there was a lot of puzzles underground. Yeah, yeah. Uh, puzzles, puzzles were alright, I guess. They were pretty standard for Lego. They were a little bit different because um, they did take inspiration from the whole, like, uh, you know, underground. Tree and stuff. Yeah, underground, uh, like, plant. <laughs> like, with all the roots and stuff. Alright. So. Remind me of that Poison Ivy level in Lego Batman, actually, a bit. Yeah, yeah, actually, yeah, it did. Alright, so you spend most of the level in the underground area, and then you eventually get to go to the actual Shrieking Shack and play as Sirius mm -hmm. Black mm -hmm. and Remus Lupin, and you gotta attack the rat. <laughs> yeah, the rat. The... <laughs> so he goes and hides in all the uh, little areas. And... I remember. I remember at first we were like, "What?" Alright, first we didn't know what to do. We were very yeah, stuck yeah, on we're how just to actually kind of like get looking about the Shrieking Shack, like, okay. To be fair, it's just us being very stupid. Event... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, to be fair, it was kind of obvious from the start what you were meant to do. Uh, but... We just didn't break things, which is the number no, one rule. I don't know why, I didn't really, like, like every single time I thought it was like some weird complex puzzle. Yeah, and we just, we had to, we just like, you know, <laughs> just <laughs> like break it or something. And I was like, ah, oh, uh, okay. We, we overcomplicated a lot of puzzles for some reason. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why, even though it's a kid's game. Alright, but you, you literally just make a mouse trap. Mm -hmm. Catch the rat. And at number 14 is Dementor's Kiss. And this level, <laughs> you start off where you got to rescue Buckbeak. And you're yeah, at Hagrid's yeah. little garden. Little... Everyone, everyone loves Buckbeak. Everyone loves Buckbeak. And then you actually go into the forest, which is... This forest area is actually used a lot in the hub world. Yeah, yeah, it is. So you actually kind of become familiar with the layout of it, which is mm -hmm, nice. Mm -hmm. it's, it's nicely designed really like, as well, with all the water. Yeah, I, li I liked a lot of the puzzles in this horse compared to the other ones as well. They were, I feel like they were more thought out and more, more fun. They fun. It's sort of draining the water yeah, to make, yeah. like... There was. ...islands. And then, of course, you've actually gone back in time at this point because you used the time turner. And you're trying yeah, to Yeah, yeah. Oh, that was, that was so cool. Island. I really like that. Time so. turner is cool. And you've got to uh, yeah. save Harry and Sirius. Yeah, they're getting yeah. hunted by all the Dementors, you've got to solve the puzzle and then you get into this big like ice area you got to fight the yeah, Dementors. Yeah. Uh, one thing about Dementors is I wasn't a fan of using uh, the spell. The spell. the spell was quite a slow casting yeah. thing, yeah, definitely. But... Yeah, it was, it was. I would have preferred if it was a little bit faster to cast, but I can't wait to if they, they improve that in years five. Maybe, years maybe. Seven. We'll have to see for that. We'll have to see, yeah. And at number 13 is The Dark Lord Returns, which is actually the third task in the Goblet of Fire, and it's the maze. And this is where pretty much they make you use every spell you've learned in the game for every yeah, puzzle. Yeah, they really, they really I. Which because was... uh, we, ha we definitely had um, the explosion spell. I can't remember what it was called anymore. I, I can never remember that name actually. But I the one, the one where you can explode things, you know, finally. Right. So you had Walks every spell in the game at this point, so they made every puzzle with yeah. them. And Yeah, yeah. I lo I love the variety of different puzzles that you could Variety of puzzles and spells. enemies. And they actually mm -hmm. took more inspiration from the book in this one by having all the Yeah, yeah, they did. Sphinxes and spiders and actual creatures, which the movie didn't have for some reason. If you read the books, yeah, the maze is very disappointing in the movies, but 
they went with the books more here and that was really nice it was a yeah. lot of fun yeah. puzzles with the scaring the uh sphinx with the spider actually was fun yeah yeah that was that was really fun and this level would be really high up if it wasn't for the end which is yeah but they're very, very disappointing, disappointing boss voldemort boss where... fight. Final boss yeah, fight in yeah. the game. This is, this, is, this is like this is the second time we've encountered Voldemort. I want to say, technically, or... technically. Yeah, technically, right. Alright, but it's the first proper boss fight of Voldemort, and he only has three yeah, hearts, yeah. which is the same as the troll. I know, I know. Well, I think Quill well, had more hearts, but <laughs> yeah, I know it was uh, um, interesting. But I guess, I guess it wasn't. I guess because I don't know. I don't. I can't really defend it. I. Uh, it's hard to defend, but it's also hard to think what they could have done. Yeah, it, yeah. It just they went but, for the most like, simple tap. This button. I feel. I feel like if they fleshed out the boss fight more, I the co-op partner didn't then, really do much. Then, they just kind of hit Death Eaters, but the Death Eaters weren't part of the way to win the level at all. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Surprisingly, a Dementor boss fight was like a million. Times but even even, the, even <laughs> like um, I didn't. I I still don't think I had Expelliarmus. No, Ooh. not like spelling, I'm sorry, the... Uh, the... Reducto. <laughs> Reducto. No, no, not Reducto. The one that kills... Oh, Expecto Patron. Eaters. That doesn't kill Death Eaters. Patron. That kills Dementors. Fast... Oh, Dementors. Oh, yeah, shit. Death Eaters, Dementors. Aye, Expelliarmus is the one that kills them. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. The co-op partner didn't really get to do much, and Voldemort was so painfully... No. I know it's a kid's game, but, like, there was, again... <laughs> One we'll talk about is the Dementor boss fight, which played like an actual video the game is, boss. The maze really did hold it up for me. Like it was. It was the maze, yeah. Time. Yeah, it was just like whenever I think of this level, I think of the maze section. I yeah. I do not. I just glance over the fact that there was Aye. this part existed. It's very easy to tap that button as well. Like way too easy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I know, I know. Well, it is a kids' game after all. Yeah, so it's a kids', kids game, but that Dementor boss fight that comes up was pretty good. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. Alright, basically compared to the other levels, the maze was great and the boss was disappointing. Yeah, yeah. And we're actually going to split this into two videos because it would be way too long as always. So if you enjoyed, like and subscribe. Part two of this vid should be out really soon. And let us know what other games you want us to make ranking vids for. It can be Lego, it can be yeah, anything. Do. Give us any recommendations. Aye. We're really currently... Uh, going through like a clone wars right now, and it's a lot of good levels. So I don't think it's a bad level so far. <laughs> yeah, now it's no, gonna no, be no. a hard one. <laughs> That's gonna be a hard one for us. But yeah, as always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.